had somebody say to me recently, and this is interesting because it was a very senior executive of one of the world's largest corporations, said to me, this is a strategy guy, that there is a global competition over social systems between China and the U.S. And the world is watching, and all the world cares about is which system can make people wealthier faster. And this whole, you know, obsession we have with democracy is not really what people are so concerned about. What people are concerned about is how do I eat, how do I live, how do I have a roof over my head, and how do I have a good job, and how do those things happen fastest? And if China continues on the path they've been on, bringing hundreds of millions of people into those categories with incredible efficiency, the rest of the world, whether they're in Nigeria or Indonesia, they're going to look to China as the model. And they're not going to be thinking about democracy, and they might not even be thinking about capitalism. You know, capitalism, frankly, in my opinion, probably is more or less here to stay. I think capitalism is a lot more secure than democracy, myself. <laughs> Um, because actually the Chinese are even moving more and more towards capitalism. Um, but I think, you know, democratic capitalism that we consider so precious uh, is not necessarily going to remain the world's ultimate role model mm -hmm. that it has been. But, you know, if we suddenly got our act together and started, you know, really improving our own lot and showing more concern for the rest of the world, you know, maybe we'd be able to reinvigorate interest in our social system. But at the moment, people are more impressed by the Chinese social system because it's getting better results. Hmm.